evening, ladies and gentlemen. Coming to you live from the outskirts of the internet. This is the Gaming Saloon from May 29th, 2015. With your hosts, Facebook 2448 and Rapid Epsilon. Hiya, everybody. Somebody's playing Splatoon an awful lot. Well, do you blame me? No. Well, then. <laughs> uh, we, we've got fun things to talk about. And by fun things, I mean this first one's not going to be fun to talk about. True. Uh, but before we get to that... We, we talk about what we played these in the past couple weeks, which... I don't think I've played that much, in all honesty. I really haven't either. I played some Vegas 2 because I got my replacement copy. And, and saw that I sucked. <laughs> I'm, I'm still pretty rusty on the game. Then I guess we need to play together some. Apparently. Because I'm still a little rusty too. See, played that. Played some Smash for Rampant Gaming. Or not Rampant. Damn it! I did it again. <sighs> Monday Mayhem. Which that'll come out Monday. Yes. <sighs> uh, played some Robocrafts in the new game mode they got there. <laughs> uh, I think that's pretty much it for me. You've been playing Splatoon a bunch. As today. We, we, yes. Um, trying to think of what else. I think that's really about it, in all seriousness, though. Yeah, I need to. I need to sit down and play some. Like, just sit down and play a game for like four hours. <laughs> yeah, I guess I, I guess we can just talk about articles now because th uh... there's no good way to transition. Yeah, no. We need Glock. Yeah. He was good at being the one to postpone us and to have reasons for us to want to transition because he takes forever. Yes. <laughs> uh, Glock, we miss you if you ever listen to this. Mm. Mm. So, let's talk about the game I don't like to talk about because it doesn't deserve that much attention. Because it's not that good. Aw, uh, but why don't you like it? Surely it's not it's that good of a game. That The only reason it's getting attention is because it's controversial and edgy and some other nonsense. When it's not. People just believe it is. Because of the context of the game. But yeah. Uh, it, it related news to us since we stream on Twitch. Twitch is apparently... Banned the streaming of it. AO games. Yeah, because tr Twitch be stupid like that. To be fair, how many times have you seen an AO game streamed on Twitch? <laughs> Never. Never. <laughs> because I figured the whole sexual content thing kind of covered that. No, let's be honest. Yeah, it that, should, that, that covered anyhow. most AO games. And to be honest, who wants to turn on Twitch to watch a porn game? You would be surprised. Anyway. That is all I've got to say. As the as Shaq News points out, that this is going, this ban is happening prior to Hatred's release on June first, which is Monday. Yeah, fantastic. Don't basically put out a video. Like, taking a look at Hatred, and I 100% agree with him on everything he brought up in that. Like, uh, I don't agree with Total Biscuit often, but goddammit, am I with him here. <laughs> this is just, it's a decent game at best once you get past all the controversial stuff. And even then, it's just not that good, not that interesting. 
There's some decent, there's some good ideas there with or some decent stuff there graphically with the Unreal 4 engine with the destruction and the lighting and a bit of the art style, kind of. But, eh. So, yeah. Can't stream AO games on Twitch anymore. Like anyone did before. Pretty much, yeah. Moving on. <laughs> Let's talk about Crisis, the board game. The, wait. Yes. The what? The board game. Crisis Analog Edition, the board game. We we've, we've got another Kickstarter project. Hmm. All uh, right. Let's see. Kickstarter's been starting this past week. Uh, developer Frame Six is looking for ninety-four thousand eight hundred fifty-one dollars by June thirteenth to make Crisis Analog Edition the board game. Uh, it's got full permission from Crytek uh, to make this. Uh, it's a strategy game for two to, uh, for up to two to eight players with two different modes of play. There's a video there to explain how it worked and not that we exactly uh, need it. And in updated news, apparently the project got canceled. Oh wow! I just looked five hours ago. It got canceled. Wow, wow, that's that's some breaking news. Well, Dang, then. what the hell happened? That... Like they were on decent track. They were like, like let's see, twenty five thousand. I want to say euros on there of eighty five. They would have made the goal. Two hundred sixty two backers. Yeah, what the hell happened there? Hmm. Uh, let me see if I can find. Alright. There we go. I got something. Let's see. After some iteration, we decided, we made the decision to cancel this Kickstarter campaign for now in order to prepare for a better reboot. Uh, first of all, we'd like to thank you, all of you, for your ongoing support, uh, your great feedback and faith in the game so far. Well, that kind of was unexpected. Yeah. Uh, looks like they're just kind of retooling things to make it look better, and kind of how Kickstarter is these days. Uh, they're, they weren't trying to be that. Because you know how that we've had several different, like, big Kickstarter projects? Yeah. They kind of, sometimes they can overshadow the smaller guys. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes. Mm, Most of the time, sir. let's be... <laughs> Most of the time, let's be honest. How many times do you hear about a Kickstarter project that doesn't have something major attached to it? I think the only one I can think of is some guy selling amiibo collector cases. Which is essentially a case to put your boxed amiibos in. Hmm. And I looked, there was another amiibo project for stands. Which are essentially, if you've seen the stair steps from Super Mario Brothers thing that's coming out in November that's up on Amazon, GameStop, all that places. It's essentially the same idea. Huh. But, uh. but instead of having the building blocks, it's just a stand, and there's several versions of stands. So there's like a one-block stand, there's a two-block stand, there's a three-block stand, and then there's a three rows, and then a higher up three rows, six-figure six stand. And they weren't really anything special, but yeah. So yeah, this is uh, this is the first. Yeah, that's kind of unexpected. Hmm. hmm. The, don't mind my random like not say anything for a couple of minutes because I check Twitter because there's a bunch of stuff on Twitter right now. That's that is relevant to me at least. And don't mind my inability to <laughs> pay attention to what's actually going on because I'm playing Splatoon instead. Yeah, there's Fair for Watch for latest news, and hell, uh, Melanus pointed out that uh, 
as I see, you can have a lot of fun with drive, and I agree. They can have a lot of fun with drive designs. <sighs> like I have no problem with drive with what SIC does it's just not for me buying wise but they make some great looking stuff whatever their Kamen Rider Rebirth is I want to know more because I love that design and I would love to see just the regular like if this was done in the show look mm. instead of the SIC ified like super high detailed uh, how else to describe SIC besides that <laughs> like that to have a look, and I'm echoing occasionally for some odd reason. Huh. Yeah, it think if I get loud enough, it happens? No? Oh, okay. I think that happened before. Okay. So, well, there, there's, there, there's two quick articles out of the way. Now we get to something we're probably going to talk about for a while because it's League of Legends related. Very true. Alright, uh, Riot's got a new player reform system for League of Legends. And don't mind me if I'm a little behind. Let's see. <laughs> oh, yeah. Initial text reform. kicked off in North America as of the 21st and takes aim at verbal harassment. The system uses reform cards, notifications that link evidence of negative behavior with the appropriate punishment that motivate players to address their negative behavior quickly. Abusive language could include. Homophobia, racism, sexism, death threats, and other forms of excessive abuse, a.k.a. being an asshole. So what there is so much of the community doing already? Mm, depends on who you ask. I still say KSD1 either is the exception or the rule because he never had a bad experience in League, really. And to be honest, we rarely have bad experiences in League. True. But still, we have them, nevertheless. Yeah. See, these types of communications will be punished with two weeks or permanent bans within 15 minutes of game's end. Uh, players report an abusive behavior to the system, which then validates or rejects the behavior as abusive based on community-driven standard standards of behavior. System issues a reform card via email to the offending player with chat log evidence. The players' names and chat logs are redacted, omitted, and a punishment for behavior is decided. Uh, during the testing phase, Riot's players' behavior team will review the first few thousand cases the, the instant feedback system sorts through. If all goes well, the instant feedback will be rolled out to all regions shortly thereafter. Riot says that this is the first, just the first phase of the new system, which will get lots of improvements in the weeks and months ahead. Hmm. So, this sounds tricky, to be honest. <laughs> we all know how auto-detect systems can be yeah. troublesome. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Um, anyone, anyone remember YouTube? Or know of YouTube's? Copyright system, it's all auto detect. Yeah, but I mean, they at least they're. It, didn't they? No. <laughs> They've never fixed it because it's always been their system. I, I'll be honest. Maybe it could work out. Maybe. But. It, I'll give them credit, they're at least going, hey, we're going to have people at least look over the first few thousand cases to make sure the system works. Mm -hmm. Before we let the bots rule, mm -hmm. let, well, let the bots be final judge on whether or not you get your ass permanently fucking banned. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm always wary of systems like this, so I'm maybe not maybe not the most objective judge. I don't know. I've never cared for automated, but I also understand they can't sit there and monitor every person that utilizes it either. Oh, God, no. So that's one of those, I don't know, that's a double-edged sword there. Mm-hmm. 
do you try to monitor everything or do you uh just kind of let something automated take it over I, I'm just glad that League's at least going. We are having actual people be involved in this process to start with to make sure everything runs smooth. In my opinion, that's always a good thing. So I think what YouTube could benefit from is having their whole copyright strike system. Have people on the back end making sure that every all of these are good off the bat. Mm -hmm. Or at least be there to make sure that if someone does go, hey, this is bullshit they can at least there's at least a human being there to judge properly true uh, yeah I'm, I'm wary but i haven't played league that much so i'm not too worried about being banned granted i'm not an asshole on the fucking league i'm not either uh, so i got nothing to worry about Alright. How about we get into something E3 related? You mean something we'll talk about here in two more weeks? Yep. Because, ladies and gentlemen, we have confirmation of something coming to the Bethesda E3 is press conference. Doom? It is Doom. The brand new Doom will be showing off at Bethesda's E3 press conference June 14th at 10 p.m. Eastern. According to the video, that is here. One of them. Oh, that's the original teaser trailer. I assume that's the trailer they're talking about up top. Probably. Uh. So, yeah. there. There's something for Bethesda's press conference that I'm just still confused of like why the fuck is the business I have a press conference? Like uh, how many things can Bethesda show off for a press conference? Or press event, or whatever you want to call it. A bunch. I mean, of course Fallout's going to be Fallout 4 is going to be the, the showcase, the the crown What's the word I'm looking for? The centerpiece of what's going to happen. <gasps> but what else are they going to have? Because they're not going to have a new Elder Scrolls, I assume. I wouldn't think. Not with uh, online being around now. Yeah. I mean, I assume like Elder Scrolls Online will be there to some capacity because they'll try to get Tamriel uh was it Tamriel unleashed uh, is what they, they got what so, they got yes. rebranded as that'll be there so they can try to push that more since the relaunch um the fuck else is under Bethesda doom I guess <laughs> but I didn't think that was under Bethesda So yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe the business one will just be short. That's the case. I'm, I'm, I'm distracted by someone in chat asking a question that I'm not sure I understand. Okay. I feel like I am mixing, missing a context somewhere, and I'm not sure. I feel like sure. I might be too. <laughs> don't feel fat. Yeah, Sorry I, if we offend you on that one, but yeah. I asked who, and I'm like, huh? Oh, and it's going to be a gameplay reveal. Fantastic. So some actual gameplay. Yay. Hmm. Oh, that's another short one. <laughs> we got short stuff because E3 is like a few weeks away, so. And everyone's yeah. like, don't spill it before E3. Unless you're Microsoft, then you will be able to, well, your other surprise got there spoiled. Yeah, that... Well, your one surprise got spoiled. Someone had to be pissed off about that. Oh, yeah, because it's like, we were going to reveal freaking Gears of War! 
Gears of War anniversary, and you guys just completely screw it up. I, I'm sorry in light of what they did with Master Chief Collection. I have to say that now. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, I will laugh my ass off if the fucking Gears of War anniversary turns out to be just as much of a disaster Master Chief Collection has been. I hope they learned from their lesson. It, I mean, I'm being serious there. Well, I think the problem is... Master Chief Collection is too ambitious and they weren't able to work it all out and now they're trying to untangle the cobbled together pieces of cable they've put together for that game and it's been a nightmare True. since launch. Mm -hmm. Here it'll be a lot simpler because it's like, okay, it's just one game and at best maybe a trilogy but they're all from the same console generation, and they're all running off the same engine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Mm. We ain't dealing, we're not dealing with essentially four different engines. Mm. Which is, like, problem number one for Halo Master Chief, for the Master Chief Collection. Yeah, and that was the big thing that I was always curious about, because it's like, okay, C and 2... We know we're running off of vastly different engines because the graphics took a drop to allow Bungie to do more. Mm -hmm. Halo 3, they took away some of that more that they did and added the graphics back in, mm -hmm. which gave us the Halo 3 that everyone knows and loves. Mm -hmm. Then you've got Halo 4 that you can tell is running off of another new engine. So it's like, okay, that's four engines. You're not going to get them all on the same engine. Yeah. Not smoothly. And you're not going to get these engines to cooperate with each other. No. Because we're talking about just the, the spread of two console generations. I mean, I could see maybe 1, 2, and 3 being able to, because I would have to think that 2 and 3 are probably running off of maybe not necessarily the same engine, but maybe similar built engines. Mm -hmm. Because not a lot of differences were made between the two. It was more hardware side, and you could kind of feel that one. But it's like, I don't know. That one was a little ambitious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, let's talk about another thing that's going to be at another press conference. Only it's going to be at a press conference that we're expecting, and it's probably going to be have some stuff in it because it's a normal press conference. EA. Yep. <laughs> we got the first announcement of the brand new Need for Speed that's going to be coming out this year. Apparently, the announce the release date got leaked, and I think it's coming out September. I want to say was the release date. I don't know, but you know, look, I scrolled down, looking at this article. I, why do I have a feeling that now that I've got a Wii U, I'm going to be the one person that's like, yeah, it's supporting all the next-gen consoles, except for the one that's actually got stuff going on for it. <laughs> that's because no one wants to develop for the Wii U. Because <laughs> like this one. It, right there, second paragraph, it says that it's set to release for PS4, PC, and Xbox One. Also, Iga Devil, stop posting photos on Twitter, goddammit. <laughs> Stop it! Stop posting detailed photos of the freaking stuff there. Anyway, let's see. Well, it says this small, but the leak, and by leak, I mean it was literally showing up on Microsoft's website. Oops. Again. <laughs> Uh, I think I want to say it's September. It might be October. It's right around that those two months. Uh, we developed by Ghost Studios, who brought us the Need for Speed Rivals, which I don't remember that one. Which one was Rivals? Is it that one? Is it one of the not good ones from the last few years? Probably. No, it's one of the decent ones from the last few years. Okay. Uh, 22nd, Need for Speed, coming out, PlayStation 4, PC, and Xbox One, so the normal trio. Uh, it's a reboot, essentially, from what I'm seeing. 
And based off the teaser from it all taking place at night and on the street, some people are thinking this is kind of a Need for Speed Underground 3, kind of. Which I'm all for, because the Underground games were probably the best ones out of the bunch. Yeah. Especially yeah. back in the day. Uh, a whole bunch of your usual uh, PR spiel, I want to say. Kind of skimming through some of this stuff. Uh, I guess talking about how the fact that Need for Speed went on a hate is 2014, which is probably a good thing. There we go. We got a new Need for Speed coming. I'm curious. I don't know about you. I know you're not the biggest racing fan in the world. No, but it it'll be one of those that I would be into saying. And son of a... Don't mind me. Don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> Ami Amiibo too good. Or not Amiibo. Splatoon too good. Uh-huh. And I'm going through the story, and it's like... Huh. You're, you're learning some new tricks, aren't you? Well, that, and I'm getting my ass handed to me by the first boss. Because I... Ah, God! Because I keep screwing up. I'm not being good enough. Okay, anyhow. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of... It's one of those that I'm sort of getting into the racing at times. Because I'm finding myself doing that, but it's like... I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, we'll see more in two weeks. Yeah, and it'll probably win me over my luck. <laughs> well, that in two weeks. I think it's more three weeks, actually. I don't know think about it. So, good God, yeah, there's like we're blazing through a whole bunch of this stuff because there's honestly there's like not much to talk about when it comes to news because everyone's holding back. Everyone's holding back now. I know. Everyone's like, no, no. <laughs> well. I wish Glock was here, because this might interest him. Okay. You remember that motion control, B-horror, kind of Heavy Rain-esque game from last year at E3? Uh, I think. Kind of like, it was kind of Saw-E from some of the gameplay we saw. I think. Can't you remember the name until then? <laughs> Sounds familiar. Okay. Well, <laughs> we got a release date for it. Out of nowhere. For some odd reason. I swear, I've not heard of anything from about this game until now. Like, between Glock bringing it up and this. <laughs> this has been silent for this game. So yeah, until then, the horror movie that's trying to catapult off the success of Heavy Rain and other such games from Quantic Dream. Coming out August 25th. PS4 exclusive. Do, 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 and yeah. <clears throat> Pretty much it. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't like what I saw when, I, when we watched some of the stuff back in the day, so. That's not one you over? Nope. <laughs> well, Glock would be disappointed. Yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> All right. Uh, Our last one. Then I realized we've only been talking for like 30 minutes. Yeah. We'll have more to talk about next time. And by more, I mean we'll just talk about a whole bunch of E3, pre-E3 stuff. <laughs> And by that, you mean we'll probably actually have something to do? More than that. Well, we'll, uh, we'll talk about, like, the press conferences and, like, what to expect game-wise. <laughs> now that we'll be that much closer. And by that much closer, I mean literally, like, 48-ish hours from the start of E3, technically. Technically. 
Yeah, because Nintendo's gonna kick it all fucking off with the damn Nintendo World Championships. That because, and as much as Nintendo doesn't believe in the uh, got their press conference Sunday. Yeah, that too. <laughs> but but Nintendo. I like that. You just completely forget that because Nintendo. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I am not interested in the Bethesda press conference because whatever they have an have to announce does not deserve a press conference. They could just say it and be done with it. <laughs> Anywho, uh, yeah, I'm well, shit, but yeah, I was gonna say like Nintendo does not believe in the console war, which is why they are obviously trying to beat everyone to the punch by starting E3 early with their Nintendo World Championships. True. I mean, but that's, it's, it's only obvious. You know, that's something, too. I don't think it's a case of they don't care about the console war. I think it's just a case of they're like, you know what? We know we're doing good. You guys go fight it out. Screw it. Hey, they're profitable again. Because, I mean, it's obvious with the Amiibos. They know what they're doing. <laughs> All right, well, one last thing. We're getting another HD remastering of a GameCube Resident Evil game. Uh, again? Yep, Resident Evil Zero is getting a, rem a remastering in 2016. I swear, th this is about on par with freaking Mass Effect 3 when the whole ending thing happened. Because I, I swear it seems like every couple of episodes we're talking about this again. <laughs> I'm sitting for the video down below to see if there's any footage. Because cause the Resident Evil 1 HD remastering was essentially the GameCube up -rest. Like, it, it was just the GameCube version up -rest, I think. And I wouldn't be surprised if this is the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, PS3, it. what is it? PS3, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, and PC. Hey, it's Prestion! Yeah, except for it's not oh, wait, acknowledging no, a... any Nintendo consoles. Yeah, but no one was to develop. Uh, my bad. That was for the Resident Evil HD remaster. It, but it is coming out for those consoles. So, the exact same release thing for Resident Evil 1 HD remaster. I don't know why they're they've got this obsession with remastering those right now. Maybe it's like those really... are the ones that sold the best. I guess. Maybe they figure they can re hype it because of that then. Well there's no Resident Evil game to roll with this hype of these remasterings is the odd part. Hmm. Cause there's is there any conf I don't think there's any confirmation of seven's release. Like, at all. Hmm. So I, I've not heard anything or read anything about a Resident Evil 7 coming out. Anytime soon, so. Oh, by the way, fuck that release date off the bat. God damn it. <laughs> I will find a new release calendar thing. Next time, or like after E3, because I'm I'm sick of dealing with game trailers and being like, ah, oh, we got release dates wrong, yeah, all the time. Yeah, wrong. Because so no wrong. one wants to catalog just a master list of release dates in a convenient place. Okay, okay, okay. And here again, I get to point out something that is not on their release calendar. That we Splatoon. know just came out. Ah. Uh, yeah, we need to sit down and try to find. And wrong. I see what you're saying's wrong. I see what you're saying's wrong. What? What now? <laughs> the very first one listed there. I know. That's why I said fuck that first release date. <laughs> Does that was true? I'd be a lot happier. Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah, you would be a yeah. lot happier then. Yeah, Arkham Knight does not come out the second. No, it comes out 
the 23rd, the week after E3. <laughs> Literally, like, the Tuesday after E3. Wow. Yeah, so I guess the only two release dates there are to talk about are two games I have no idea what the hell are. Star Hammer, the Vanguard Prophecy for PC on the 4th, and Wanderer for PC, PlayStation 4 and PC on the 4th as well. Let's see. Curious. The Black Lab games. Never heard of them. It is... Looks like a space game, Wanderer. I think I saw an article when I was digging through articles for this. A non-combat MMO. <laughs> no idea what this is. But I know I saw something earlier. Like, when I was digging for articles about this. I'll give the trailer a quick look, just to see. This is going to be the shortest GGS in history. Probably, yeah. Standing <laughs> mm -hmm. through the ad. I want to see what this wanderer is. So I'm curious. If the ad doesn't break the video, fantastic. God damn it. Ad broke. Of course. Come on. Any day now. Just trying to satisfy my own curiosity here. And uh, broke it again. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. All right. I don't know what the hell's going on there. So, yeah. I guess the end of the shortest CGS in history. Wow. We, can just talk about, we can just talk about our quick respective draws. Fridays. Well, it's less our quick draws and more our respective Fridays. Because <laughs> yours is Splatoon and mine is Amiibos. So. Yes. Which mine, I guess, technically could be my amiibos also. Mm. Well, I was out hunting amiibos today. I was up at Target before it opened at 8 o'clock. 18 people were in line, which surprised the shit out of me because I did not expect like that many people to show up. And bear in mind, folks, I live in a small town. GameStop had four people, including me, at before 10 o'clock. So, 18 people's a bit surprising for a random Friday just to pick up Amiibos. <laughs> I managed to get Jiggy and Charizard from there, because uh, there was not much else by the time I got there. Rob and Lucina were done after, were gone after, I think, like four people. Oh, wow, really? Mm-hmm. What was that? Might have been five. I wasn't keeping track of how many people were up at the register. Yeah, that was it. GameStop had crap in all, which was not surprising considering what people were reporting. <laughs> the, I don't know what GameStop did to piss off Nintendo to be like, we're not giving you anything. Or GameStop being like, we're not going to order anything from Wave 4. I'm wondering if it's them or not, though. Eh, who knows? Like, maybe they were the last ones to say what they wanted, and they just kind of got the short end of the stick. That's possible. Uh, just to give it... They had two Nesses, four Pac-Man, two Warios, zero Lucina, zero Robin, zero Charizard, seven Silver Marios, two Inkling Boys, two Inkling Girls, and a one three-pack. That's it. Like, wow. literally, that was it. 
Two, they had two exclusives. Meanwhile, Target had at least 12, I think. Might have been more than that. And there was still Jigglypuffs left, and I was 18. Well, I was like number 19 in line, so. Hmm. People were picking, uh, and people did pick up plenty of Jigglies. <laughs> So, uh, I was like the second person at GameStop because no one showed up at GameStop at all. Wow. And again, it, GameStop around here opens at 10 o'clock, which is like middle of the day. I'd expect more people at GameStop, in all honesty. You would think. But you know what's funny? When I actually picked up the Amiibos that I got out of it, which was the Inkling Boy and Girl and Pac-Man, uh, the GameStop over on the other end of town was actually kind of packed. But I don't think Everyone... it was because of the Amiibos. Was it for Splatoon? Then? I don't know. Because nothing else came out today as far as I know. But, yeah. That was one of those I was like, huh, that's hey. weird. I don't know when Walmart, the the old Walmart around here, sold their Wave 4, but when I got there, there was nothing and no trace of any Wave 4 Amiibos. When I got back to Target, because I had still had to wait for Books May and Open, because I wanted to pick up Ghost of Onyx for my plane ride, uh, they had a couple Inkling Boys and Girls and a Pac-Man left, so they had traces of Wave 4 material left. Yeah, if you go to the GameStop near the new Walmart now, yeah, you, you might as well not even fool with looking for a way for because they're gone. <laughs> ah, I'm not surprised. I literally was the one to buy the last three. Yeah, it, there's no interesting story to tell. There's, like, no real crowded places. Like, when I say it was 18 people, it was just... It was just a bunch of us just standing outside Target waiting for it to open and just talking amongst ourselves. That was it. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was kind of essentially my Black Friday, my, my Amiibo getting Black Amiibo Friday, whatever you want to call it. Like, nothing eventful happened, so I can't tell a Interesting story, unfortunately. Your amiibo Gaddon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my uncle managed to pick up Greninja, Wario, and Pac-Man for me at Toys R Us because he was in Chattanooga. They had three packs still there, which was like, wow. Good to see the three packs are sticking around, like I figured. Robin and Lucina aren't. Fucking crapshoot on to get them on Amazon. As you heard me trying to get Robin. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, there is a release date for the Rider on? Fuck. It's coming out this year. Ugh, I feel sorry for people trying to pick up the Rider on in the Trader on. That's yeah, about. No, no, no. That's a good few hundred dollars right there. Whew. Dang. Damn it, Eagle Devil, stop it! Stop it! I literally, uh, literally minimized Twitter only for an, another notification to pop up. Uh, anyway, so how how is the Splatoon? I like it. It's worth it. it. And I, I'm... Well, shit, that's the other one. Hold on. Are you in single player stuff at the moment? No. No. I'm fixing to. For the hell of it, and because we kind of have nothing else, I'm gonna set up and run the last one. <laughs> Just so that we can end the show on it. But yeah. <laughs> Oh, you're really gonna end the show with some Splatoon gameplay. Might as well. 
it it is good despite what everyone is kind of poo pooing on about it. That's that's one of those that I can see the justification behind why people are like eh on it, but really they just like because it. it changes your mind on that. It's like yeah, no voice chat, but guess what? I usually don't use voice chat on computers because of the toxicity. It doesn't seem like it needs it, in all honesty. It don't. Because the maps aren't so big that you're losing people quick. You're able to pretty much see most, if not all, of the teammates at any given point. It's not one of those where you have to But, um, <laughs> but it's, it's one of those I don't feel the voice chats needed. I do not see where people are saying that just the uh, single player is really short on this. Because the way I'm looking at it, in just what I've seen, which I've got to put myself a part of the world, it's got some left. I mean, it might not be super long, but I mean, let's face it, this is really Nintendo's aim at multiplayer shooting. Of course, it's not going to be super long. That, that's just one of those that I'm like, I really don't see why anyone's bitching. Yeah, that but this looks fantastic and it looks like a home run. Uh, I'm just glad to see that we have a lot of my ID very well. Like, there's a lot of people excited to do that. Which is better than I think Pikmin did. Pikmin didn't go for as well off the bat, I feel like. As Pikmin did. Granted, I think it's a lot more cool genre for a lot of people. That's true. Strategy's not really one of the more popular genres out there. Whereas shooters are good. Yeah. And you know, if anyone tries to say that this isn't a uh, competitive based shooter, it's kind of wrong. I, I feel like it's got its competitiveness. It's a matter of whether or not people realize that. Yeah, it's where I think whether or not a person can get built around it is the question. Not I, don't, say... I don't think that's an issue, having a competitive scene built around it. I yeah. think it's more of an issue with getting players to realize, hey, this game could be competitive. This game has the option to do that. Yeah, it needs the community, which is just a thing we have to wait and see. It's going to be a... Maybe... Maybe in six months we'll have an answer for that. Hopefully. Or at least see the starts of the answer. I don't know. It might be sooner than that. I'm being generous. It'd be, it could pop up sooner than that. But yeah, that's one of those that it's like... I, I see a lot of potential for this. It's just a matter of if someone going to give them the time to do it. Like, I don't expect right now to hop in and see a bunch of stuff on the competitive side. I, I feel like right now needs to be Nintendo's, okay, let's look at what the players are wanting and see what does need to be changed. Which, honestly, I don't feel like anything does. And that's kind of weird. Because there's, I, I've yet to find something that is super OP. It's like everything can be counted. To some extent. Like even the Krakens. Is the same show. The main reason I died to that, 
stupidity. <laughs> he didn't realize it was a first kill. Hey, I got a two for Wow. Well. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna get this under an hour. Not yet. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> well. Uh, E3 was certainly interesting this year, but with fucking this is the first that I think E3 has ever had. I, which I think is weird. That now we're getting a bunch of press conferences. This is where that this year out of all years is. Hey, everyone's doing the right now. Yeah. So I would think it would be, I would guess, a little later into the console developments to maybe get it. Oh, no, no. Kind of feels like it. Because, like, right now would be the opportunity time to see in as how both Microsoft and Sony have had a little while to get their consoles kind of established. So now's the point where they have to determine on where they stand. Yeah. But you have, like, the of the That's the thing. You have people trying to get the game stuff. But you have to play the game. Yeah. Which is another one of those weird. Yeah, because it's like you don't have to do anything. Ever really? Like, um, like, unless we get, we've got, like, we've had huge developments on Final Fantasy 15 and in Mark 3, and we get a release date for Final Fantasy 15, but don't do I don't know what there to say. I mean, a demo of, or like, a, like an official game demo of in Mark 3 would be fantastic. But I don't think that's part of the I don't either. Because they've only been developing since last year, maybe? At best? I mean, we had that tech demo. But that was about to be it. I don't know. That's one of those I mean, things. I know they got Lara Croft, uh, Lara Croft's uh, the Tomb Raider's technically under Square Enix, but I think that's going to get blown at some other press conference, in all honesty. That'll get blown at Microsoft. Unless Cause... Microsoft has enough to fill their own, and they're letting Square take it. Yeah. And then, like, uncharacteristically, you have the PC gaming show. Which is essentially... Uh, who's running it? I don't think it's Steam. AMD and PC Gamer are putting on the first ever PC conference at E3. So, Blizzard and Humble Bundle are confirmed to be there, but that's all IGN has listed. Which, I guess Heroes of the Storm for Blizzard, because there's nothing else at the moment, because there's no new um, expansion pack for World of Warcraft. There's nothing new for Diablo, I don't think. And StarCraft, I doubt. I don't think there's anything new for StarCraft. There's, um, shit, I can't think of the name at the moment. Crap, they're, essentially they're TF2. Oh, uh, fuck. What was the name of it? Crap. I watched a video, like, last week about it. I can't remember. Overwatch. That's what it is. Overwatch. Pharmacy Overwatch. I don't know. It, I guess it depends on like who shows up to the EC Gaming show to show off what. I know Riot ain't showing up because Riot never shows up to E3. Yeah. Because that just... I, I, I tried to remember whenever Riot had a big spot at E3 because they're one of the companies I think could do that but they haven't ever yeah but 
to this, I kind of wonder if they needed it. Unless they announce a new game, I don't feel like they could. So it's like, hey, we're showing off the new champion, ADE3, and, and like make a big deal out of it, and I'm like, eh? I don't know, not they really. can make a big deal about it. Unless it's some like, radically different champion, I don't think so. I don't know, that's just me. True. But, I, I don't know. Some of the press conference confuses me. Some of the others are like, oh, that's normal. I know we're getting a Nintendo Direct the, I think, Sunday. Yeah, Japanese Nintendo Direct Monday has Sunday that will more likely have me only interested for Fire Emblem If news, and that's about it. Because <laughs> Fire Emblem If comes out this year in Japan and comes out next year in America. So I'm kind of just waiting until the American, wait until next year to actually play that. God damn it. <laughs> Gotta wait a whole, wait till next year for fucking if to get released here in America. Hopefully they <laughs> oh, uh Oh god. <laughs> ho hopefully they might consider doing what they're doing for the collector's edition for the regular release and like double pack the the SD cards of white and black, maybe. Maybe. Save us some money? No? Okay. Doubt it. You don't need to save money. You need to spend it. Um, but I want to save money. No, you want to spend it on if. I want to save money to spend money on if, but I want to don't want to have to buy two DLCs. Why not bundle it into one so I don't have to buy two separate occasions? I just buy it all in one and just get them all when I need them. All right, I'm close these Best Buy links because they're getting me nowhere fast. There's like nothing. <laughs> There's literally nothing on the Best Buy links at all. Fast bag, you lie about your coming soon bullshit. All right, I, I say we end off. I say you're right. A really, really, really short gaming saloon, but hey, we'll have a plenty of talk about our thoughts going into E3 next week, even though we've spoiled a bit of that. Just a little bit. Oh well. Yeah. We get to have our talks in two episodes then. Yeah. So, I guess until then, that's Tommy. I'm Peace. Good night, everybody. We'll see you, we'll see you next time for more gaming saloon stuff. As always, you can find the gaming saloon on our site at tgsnetwork.org or also follow us on our social medias on Twitter at TG Saloon, on Google Plus at google.com slash plus TGS TGSR org, and on YouTube at youtube.com slash TG Saloon. Till next time.